Live news alert from the Rudy Ranch. Baked Alaska is at it again. He's grifting hardcore, and Dick Tracy's here on the scene to set the record straight about this madman and about the America First movement. This really was a fucked up thing that just occurred only six hours ago. I was pulled from my game of Rising Storm 2 for this. Not much can do that, but this really is fucked up. <laughs> it just totally proves to me that Baked Alaska is just a grifter and really only starts shit with people to collect super chats and to protect his reputation as a grifter. Or no, as a serious political figure. He is a grif grifter deep down. Let's get right into the video then. Riding at anti-vax protest and all the boys are here. Ralph is already fucked up. <laughs> Ralph is already fucking wasted. And I've never really watched any Ralph content outside of people talking about him. This is my first exposure to him, <laughs> like literally ever. And the guy's already fucking wasted. Uh, cause he has to be in order to, like, go through life and do this streaming bullshit that he sub subjects him to. But Baked is bigger than that. All he needs for is his ego to be pumped up and inflated. So, let's see how it goes about that. They're at the anti-vax protest with all the other America Firsters. Ralph is here too because this really just is a grift and, like, nothing matters. Yeah, fuck the bugs. This is some insightful commentary from the America Firsters over here. This fucking weirdo is is like a fan of Ralph. He he has a killstream hat. Everyone else is America First here, but Ralph has has one of his lackeys here to uh, fucking like stroke his ego. He pays him like no attention as well. So here comes Antifa. Here comes the brave. Antifa tank division that Baked is uh, here, well, he's glad they're here so he can yell at them, be belligerent to them. <laughs> wait, wait, we gotta go back here a second. Yeah, so he can yell at them and be belligerent to them, uh, so they will attack him. He's on bail, so he really has to be careful here, but he really is only at this event to antagonize Antifa so they will fuck with him and make content, uh, despite how that... That might may look in court, uh, he's still fighting that pepper spray, uh, shit, and the January 6th shit. Uh, so he really isn't proving himself here to be a model citizen who has learned. Uh, but I think watching that court case, I don't really think it's gonna matter. And he says here, uh, yeah, let's see if we can find it. Well, he says he has content spray. Yeah, 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 so no, Bake doesn't have the content spray, but his boys does. So he really is only here just to antagonize people and, and fuck with them. Like, uh, this this whole America First anti-vax rally, it really is just a farce. But we'll get into that, because Antifa's marching through. The brave Antifa tank division, there goes their strongest unit. Uh... Their backup rear support flank there. He's long. He can reach around and get into the back lines. But they're outnumbered. And all they can really do is like walk through and just get booed at. They are just there to be laughed at. Uh, which is what Antifa's purpose really is. But they didn't come here to smash the fash because there's not enough of them. And they don't have any like, you know, magical weapons that Antifa needs. So yeah, that's, that's really all they were there for. And the America First zombies are just gonna chant at their enemies. They they really need this victory, but Antifa can't lose either. Antifa, America First and Antifa really are cut from the same type of retard, uh, who need to really win no matter what. So they will accept any degenerates like Vosh and like Ethan Ralph into their ranks, uh, because they can use them to felt other retards, and make streams like this. So Antifa's coming back because they don't know just they don't know when to quit. There's our boy Wooza, always in the background. They're not saying anything. 
Antifa's formulating their battle plan, knowing they're outnumbered and will have to do a risky strategy. Wow, you're really changing their minds with that one. Uh, These really are the most basic bitch, like, Christian talking points. So here he comes! Here comes our titan. Our titan, Dick Tracy, uh, has come to interrogate Baked Alaska, L.A. Noir style. Uh, we're gonna see here if Bake can lick the dick. Uh, so he comes in here all friendly. Uh, he really is only here, uh, to, like, attend this protest, uh, but Bake has, Baked has beef with him that he can't really see past. He's getting the camera in his face immediately. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Baked here has a problem with this guy, a serious problem, but he really isn't man enough, uh, to be aggressive with him. Uh, that's why his voice is cracking and he's trying to be friendly there. Uh, because he really doesn't have the... He really doesn't have the spirit to back up his words there. That's why they came off as a joke. Uh, but Dick Tracy here really is just here to attend the protest. So he doesn't need to be aggressive. He doesn't need to be an asshole. Yeah, where's Nick? Dick Tracy's on a mission here. He's on an investigation. He's getting straight to the matter. He doesn't give a shit about Baked or any of these fucking retards. They mean absolutely nothing to him and he's just gonna walk away here. He's such a Chad, man. Like, he has this ridiculous fucking, like, our atheism costume on, but he's still, like, the biggest man by far, by, like, like 10,000 times, like, any of these fucking gripers. Like, this guy really is, like, he, he really is this, like, what you want to aspire to as a groiper. Like, he is the spitting image of a western man. Like, look at this fucking guy. He's staring down right at Baked. He doesn't need a stream audience or any any of these retarded groipers to back him up. He came in here knowing that Baked would be in here, and then he's talked shit to him. And then he, he would confront him like this. You know, we got fucking one of the Columbiners there in the background just chilling. Uh, he's not afraid of the Columbiner, though, because he is such a man. Like, fuck, Bake has nothing on this guy. And he knows that if, like, he just lets this guy talk to the Groypers, uh, he'll expose Bake for being a fucking, like, a soy boy, like, beta male. And then they'll follow him. And Bake can't have that because his grift is all he has. And his image is what maintains that grift. Yeah, like, as if, as if, like, your fucking petty Twitter drama is, is, like, matters at all, like, like, people on poll now are fucking praying to Nicki Minaj, you know, some degenerate fucking thought whore because of her stance on the vaccine, uh, they're willing to see past that, but Baked can't see past himself and see this, like, fucking Giga Chad as a potential ally and would rather fucking align with like, fucking losers, like, Wooza here, who, it really is just, like, a fucking charlatan, uh, you know, he's a Mormon, so that plays into his religion, Joseph Smith was a cop killer and a charlatan, uh, just like Wooza pretty much is, too, so he is, uh, he is spreading a good message, uh, for Mormonism there, uh, but he really can't, uh, do anything else, uh, but just be a retard in the background. Let's get to Beardson here in a sec. Yeah, he knows what's important. So you're not gonna to all this shit you talk? Yeah, so again, like, this guy is taking this event seriously. He realizes that Groypers are taking this seriously. Uh, but again, like, Baked, Baked is such a woman, he can't see past, like, the petty fucking, like, ghetto cat fights on Twitter that they have. Uh, <laughs> and, the, the, you know, this guy's right. He doesn't want to fucking talk to Baked the Alaska because he realizes that all he is is a drama queen. He has no fucking interest in him. So he's just gonna tell him like, like it is and just walk away. Yeah, so this guy's a lot more emotional. I think his name's Beardson. We're just gonna call him that because I don't know who the fuck he is. I don't give a shit. Uh, 
but he, he's a lot more emotional like a woman than uh, Baked was, because Baked was willing to let the guy go, but no, Beardson has to get up in his face and be really aggressive with this guy, even though he probably hasn't done anything to him personally. I think he just said he didn't like America first. Uh, on Twitter, but you can't let that slide again because, you know, if you expose them for the fucking grifters that they are, uh, they will just follow people like this. And that probably is why Dick Tracy's here. Uh, he is much smarter than these guys already. He had a plan coming in here and he was able to stand up to these guys knowing that they would give him shit. Like, I'd follow this guy over this fucking, like, bearded faggot. You know, he doesn't need a beard to hide his weak chin. Anyway. Yeah, he just realizes that these guys are fucking losers and he's just gonna Chad strut away. But Bakes can't let that go and he needs to keep re-engaging. But because this guy's not a bitch, like, Bake doesn't realize this, that he's not gonna back down from what he said about America first because it was probably true. But he doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck about drama. Uh, but Bake can't let that go, so he's not gonna step down from his position because he's a fucking man, and he's also a fucking man because he's not gonna let that get in the way of this event. That, you know, really is important. This is supposed to be, like, the fucking end of freedom, and you're concerned about, like, uh, like, fucking Dick Tracy talking shit about you on Twitter? That shows me what they're really here about, because they're no longer focusing on Tifa, and Tifa has, like, marched past them now, and they're just focused on this guy who's trying to be an ally to them. Look at this body language. Look at this body language. Holy fuck. So he's calling him, he's calling him a grifter to his face because Beardson has admitted that he's not willing to put himself in danger uh, for like a political movement. But this guy is because he could very well get content sprayed here. Uh, but just look at his body language, his chin is up, he's staring down at him like the fucking maggot he is. This guy's like sputtering some bullshit out that means nothing and he's just trying to offend him and he notices that. So, he's not even, like, facing him. He's full staring him down, L.A. Noir style, like, pressing X to doubt his political convictions. Like, this guy really is a Chad, and they have to felt him. Like, this is, like, this is, like, a desperate JoJo fight. They have to kill this Chad here using uh, their stand uh, felt abilities because they realize that they will lose the movement and their grift if this guy even gets a single fucking lick on them. Yeah, as if, like, that fucking- who cares about, like, these irrelevant people who aren't even attending this event? Oh, yeah, so, uh, he- he's willing to be man enough and admit his mistakes there, uh, but because Beardson over here isn't a man, and he needs to get a win on him, you can't just let that one little mistake slide, uh, you know, one little tweet, you can't let that slide here. You have to make a big deal of it and emasculate him, uh, so you can get super chats and make a meme of him like you did Chaggett and, uh, Louis Th Thoreau, because that's all this really is about. But we're gonna continue here. Yeah, notice how Dick Tracy here doesn't need a fucking, like, super chat audience and, like, grouper zombies to defend him. He can stand up on himself. Again, like, what he said was true. Yeah, we're just gonna get the camera in his face. You know, like a fucking Instagram thought. Dude, isn't that what Chaggett said? Uh, Baked is now, like, he, Chagat has, Chagat did fuck Baked because he absorbed his DNA and is now using his arguments. He's now using the quote me accurately argument when, again, this guy, like, Baked is an insect to this man. Uh, he doesn't, like, fucking remember everything he said. He's an important guy. He's Dick Tracy. Uh, he has, like, rapists to catch, which is probably why he's at this Groyfer event. Uh, so you're not fucking important enough to him. And, like, Baked really does feel like he is important enough that everyone will remember, like, everything that's ever fucking said to him. Yeah. 
Well, because he's not a shit talker. He's a man. Well, you lied to me on Twitter, buddy. Beardson's not even important anymore. Like he's not. He's not facing him. Bakes just cut him off there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he knows. He knows these guys are just like internet shit talkers. So like. It's obvious that they are doing, like, gay ops and gossiping behind each other's backs. And this guy's just a neutral fucking person. Like... No, 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 sister. I just can't let that slide. I just gotta get my piece in right here. Again, he doesn't have the convictions of a man to just pull his balls up and, like, speak over him. Uh, he needs to let him know that it's his turn to talk. Uh, exactly like a woman. Uh, yeah, I don't- I don't know who this guy is, or where he comes from, or why people would want to follow him. My- my friend. Again, this guy, you know, this guy is, like, he looks like he's about, like, in his 30s, and he can't have this, like, much younger man- it looks like he's in his late 30s- can't have this much younger man talk shit about a fucking 16-year-old on the internet. That's serious shit. Yeah, look, you can kind of see here, uh, the sunlight pierces his beard, and this is why he has a huge beard like this. It takes a while to grow this out, but he, you can kind of see there, uh, like, the weak chin. Uh, the weak chin right there. I'm an artist, I, I notice this stuff. But yeah, that's, that's why he has the beard, and, you know, this guy, uh, who pretty much is the spitting image of, like, a western man. He doesn't need a fucking beard, he's clean-shaven, he shaves every day. You know, this fucking loser over here, like, has the fucking dysfunctional genes that gave him a uh, ugly face. Well, he's not here for America first. He's here for the Groypers and the anti-vaxxers. He's here to save them from charlatans like you. Yeah, so again... This guy really has nothing to stand on. He has to be like a drama queen and get all his, uh, his hoes in, in on this. So they can just, like, shout this guy down. And because, uh, if he just called them over here, they might see that this guy's reasonable and a chad, unlike this guy. So he has to let them know straight up that he's with Baked. So his word is the gospel of the Groyper movement. And that this guy's a bad faith actor. So again, like, their ideas really have nothing to stand on. Uh, and they are just like fucking drama queens protecting their egos. Yeah, there's Ralph there. He's not saying anything. He's just kind of sitting back and filming this. He, he's so drunk he'd probably vomit if he raised his voice like that, so... And he's speaking the truth, they can't have him know that he's there for them. And not to argue with these douchebags. He needs to get- and you know, that's why he's doing this. Yeah, the super chats are coming in now. So that's why he's doing this. He- he- he wasn't getting any super chats with Antifa, so he stopped following them. Now that he notices that this asshole's here, even though he's an ally and he would just like- He would be with them, like, making fun of Antifa. But it's more profitable uh, to bully this guy than it is to continue to go after Antifa. Well, no, he couldn't just say my bad. You'd make him get on his knees and fucking apologize and you'd spit in his face. Like, that's a total fucking lie. You, you'd bitch slap him like you did Chagot, and again, he's not a- he's a fucking man. He's not gonna just take that. He knows that you're a fucking egotist. Well, he has a hat, and it's not a fucking hat of a dying movement. It's a hat, it's a hat of a culture that will forever remain cool. You know, like... And this guy is cool, even though he does look like Dr Dick Tracy. He really took a risk with that outfit. Oh! Oh, he knows! He knows! He knows Bake's a fed. He knows Bake's a fucking federal asset. And that, like, you know, just like Trudeau didn't apologize for doing blackface when he became prime minister, he thought it would slide. 
you know, Baked would only apologize for shit that he got caught for. And this guy's not a... This guy's not about that. He there there is nothing nefarious about him, which is you know they'd say that because they are trying to felt him. All they have on him is that he just said that America First is fucking gay, which I you know I think it is, man. I I I'd rather follow this guy's fucking movement than like, who's this fucking useless. Yeah, like four people, like. Four people are invested in this internet drama, and then the rest of the people don't give a shit. They're all just kind of crowded around because, like, it's all that's happening. Uh, again, like, they can't... Like, no one gives a fuck. Like, this guy is an ally to them. Uh, but he's not to Baked. He can't have that. Yeah, Baked, the good Samaritan Christian here. Yeah, he really is, uh... Really is an arbiter of Christian morality, isn't he? Exactly, he knows. Oh yeah, speaking of feds. Yeah, speaking of feds. Speaking of feds, uh... This guy is apparently a fed because he's from L.A. Noir. You know, he must be a cop. But fucking baked Alaska, who seems to have the look of the devil... You know, Baked Alaska has his own love train that he used in the White House. Uh, he can't... <laughs> like, he, fuck, he, his cognitive dissonance is so strong that he really does have to see this person as an enemy, and he can't see Baked. He has to ignore all that shit and just coat seas and fucking dilate. Well, I mean... That is a very, very big slight against your character there, that society views you as a criminal. I think that might hurt your reputation as a leader of a political movement, maybe. Wooza has nothing to say, as usual. He's right, there are still groipers under house arrest, unlike Baked Alaska, ooh, I wonder why. Well, I mean, you know, so now we're in the stage of the interrogation where he's pressing X to doubt and, uh, you know, he's saying, he's calling him, he's saying a liar, you know, he's pressing Y, actually, he's pressing Y to lie. Uh, so, you know, now, you know, now he knows he's fucked and he's just gonna keep coping and fucking shouting. If you've ever watched, like, Jim Can't Swim, this usually happens when, like, people get caught. They just start, like, talking about, like, irrelevant shit. And this is exactly what's happening because Bake doesn't have an answer for that. Because if he answered that question, then everyone, then, then he'd have, if he answered that question, the answer would be that he's a fed and he got off, so. Again. He, again, he has to do all these, the reason why he needs all this time to talk is because he has to do all these mental gymnastics, uh, to make a bullshit point, uh, to, like, refute that. But again, all he needs to say, because he is, he is telling the truth here, uh, is that you don't have an ankle monitor on because you're a fucking fed. Again, look at Ralph. Ralph is really disinterested here, and, you know, everyone else is really fired up, but he just really couldn't give a shit. I, you know, I wonder what that says about Baked, that he's surrounded by people who don't give a shit. No, yeah, notice how this guy hasn't said anything rude to Baked the entire time he's been here. He doesn't need, he doesn't need to call him a faggot. He can just call him a fed, and what he's saying is true, it hurts him way more. Yeah, so, uh, uh, Baked thinks it's a really big deal that he was in solitary confinement for six months, but the behavior he's doing now, showing up to these protests, is exactly what got him there in the first place. And he's trying to put that on him as if, like, that's his fault for saying that he's a fucking loser for putting himself in that situation again now that he's been let off and he continues to do this. 
you know, if Antifa did charge him back there, uh, they would have pepper sprayed them, and then, you know, he would have been, you know, he would have been fucked again, like, uh, like, he, he really, he, 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 he's, like, he must be a fed if he's getting away with all this shit all the fucking time, like, Yeah, exactly. What about your underlings that you sacrificed there, Bake? No one cares about your per your personal struggle. Beardson's not even important here. He was all fired up a second ago. Now he's, like, not even in frame. He he he's just given up. He realizes that no one wants to listen to him speak. Yeah, he <laughs> look at this. Yeah, all fucking Wooza can do is, like, imitate, like, Baked. Like, he really is a Mormon. Yeah, exactly. We really have- Don't touch me, I'm- Don't touch me! Don't touch me, bro, just like Antifa does when they- They fuck with people and just, like, form a human chain on, like, a highway. Baked is now putting himself in front of this man, trying to instigate a fight, so he can beat the shit out of him. Again, he just- all he has to do is Chad strut away. Oh wait, you see that? I love cat boys. Boys spelt with an I. Fuck. Catboyism. Yeah, pff, fuck, man. Yeah, you just gotta cope and see th like that like fucking huge like like splite on your reputation away. Again, baked here, the narcissist, uh, trying to uh, sound like he would have been reasonable if this man decided to apologize. When the reality of it is. Uh, he would have made him get on his fucking hands and knees and do push-ups and, like, spit in his face before he would accept him. Uh, and he knows that. He, like, Dick Tracy here, because he's an actual Chad and a police officer detective who deals with, like, criminals like Baked Alaska all the time, uh, he knows that he is a, just a narcissist, uh, who won't be satisfied until, like, everyone around him... Uh, like, sucks up to him, which is why he puts retards like Beardson and Wooza, you know, as his lackeys. And, and then just, like, sucks up to Nick. Like he did Baked. Uh, and like he did, uh, Milo. And, uh, yeah, like, this video alone, like, <laughs> fuck, like, it, I, I don't think, I don't think the alt-right or, like, any Christian movement is ready just yet to take over America. I think it, we, we might need to give it another, like, 50 years before... Uh, like, this is serious. Like, when Dick Tracy over there has kids, because, you know, he's a giga chad, he will have fucking a huge family, because he will be successful, unlike Baked. And he won't wait around until he's 30, doing this fucking childish shit, to have children. Uh, they will grow up to lead the next movement, which will be serious. Uh, so just hold on till then. You know, keep praying. I heard my fucking cross. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pray to my true God, Rick and Morty. Uh, we're gonna pray that uh, you know everything will be right and that there won't be any war. And I don't want anyone to die. I just want everything to work out, and I don't want China to buy us so. out. So yeah, that's 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 IP two slash Big Alaska Dick Tracy. Uh, it's fucking gay. I'm probably gonna release Mega Mind today. I was just pulled from that. I was charging my phone so I could do that. So we're gonna charge my phone again and then do that. So look forward to that. Oh wait.